So Apollo Creed, Rocky, the Iceman, Maverick, even Peter Parker, Harry Osborn, they're all famous frenemies. And don't get it confused. Me and my opponent, he may be my manager, but we're in this together. And just because we're facing each other, don't don't think that we're fighting. Don't think things are going to be broken up because it doesn't matter who wins today. We're representing us in this tournament. That's how this is going to go. So just expect a good show. Expect after this that him and I, we're going to shake hands, make up, and keep it moving because we got a lot more matches to win and a lot more things to do in this league. So just rest assured, somebody's going to win today that deserves it. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, I am in a win-win situation in this match. If I win, cool. I still have Mike in my corner to help me push through the tournament. If Mike wins, I have my client in the tournament. We are really good friends. We talk outside of this league, too. Uh, I watch his podcast. We we chat. We, we help each other study. So this is just going to be a really good, fun match. And like he said, it's whoever is going to win this match really deserved that win. And they're probably going to make a really good run in the tournament. Hello, every. Oh, no, I don't want to start it off like an asshole. I'm, I'm no Caleb Bowman. Uh, you know, it's me back hosting these. I made a horrible, horrible decision. I got really drunk. And we know what happens when I drink and make decisions, they turn out horrible. Uh, so. Yeah, no more Caleb Bowman, folks. But anyways, this is a good match. Uh, this is for the eighth spot in the tournament, the last spot. And then we get into round one of the tournament. The winner of this will face our former singles champion in the tournament in the first round, Alec Miller. So God have mercy on your souls, whoever wins this. But let's get into it. Introducing first record, two and two. He is Big Mike, Mike Bryant. Mike, how are we doing today? Good. Ready to go. All right. And your opponent, you faced him before. He manages you. He is Joe, but with a haircut. Joe Harrison. Joe, how we doing? I'm doing great. Plus, uh, you got a little, you got a little chocolate milk. Little, is that what it is? Or uh, My facial hair grows in red, and I'm blonde, so it's very weird. Oh, that's facial hair? Okay, I thought it was like a chocolate milk stain. Never mind. Uh, anyways, we know what this is for. Let's get into it with round number one. Round number one works as such. There's eight questions, eight predetermined shows with all of our strength shows, two extras. Each question is worth one point. You get it right, you get a point. You don't get it right, you don't get any points, but you don't lose anything either. Uh, so with that, you guys have your three repeats and your one challenge rule. Let's get into it. Are you guys ready? Let's get it. All right. Your first question comes in the show of Greek. Greek was created by whom? Joe writing in his screenplay book this time. Uh, no. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. Let's go with Joe first. I put some white guy. Forgot that info. Some white guy, which I'm pretty uh, sure. Is you're not technically wrong, but no name. Mike, were you able to pull it? I said Greg Garcia. No, also incorrect. It is Patrick Sean Smith. Patrick Sean Smith. All right. Let's go to our next show, Hawaii Five O. <laughs> Hawaii Five O was remade in 2010. What year was its original counterpart released? No one knows if the remakes they constantly do anymore. Hawaii 5 0 being one of them, but we'll go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bends down. Let's go to Mike this time. 1975. Incorrect. And Joe. I put 1983. Mike was closer, 1968. Uh -huh. Yes, 1968. All right, your next show in question comes in Boy Meets World. Who is the longtime teacher who follows them through life in the series? Kind of interesting. There's a few teachers I wouldn't have mind had 
through most of my years, but oh well, we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, fun story. One of them put another kid in a chokehold in the coat rack for being an asshole, but we'll save that for another time. Let's go to Joe first. Mr. Feeney, who somehow taught them through sixth grade through college. That is correct, and Mike. Mr. Feeney, I don't know the correct spelling. It's spelled wrong, but you pronunciated it right. That's what's important. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe me, folks, ask RJ and click on. Uh, <laughs> your fourth <laughs> question comes in NCIS. NCIS stands for what? One of my favorites. Let's see if they're able to get it. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. Let's go to Mike first. Navy Criminal Investigation Service. That is in Joe. What do you have? I put Naval Crime Investigation Investigation Service. If both of you would have combined your answers, it is Naval Criminal Investigative Service. Oh. So Mike had most of it. Joe had the first part of it, but uh, that's all right. We'll go into our next question, our next show, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Who is the street smart friend of Will's that Uncle Phil constantly throws out of the house? I don't know if I've ever been thrown out of a house by somebody's uncle that big, but, you know, for the first time for everything, I guess. Five, four, three, two, one, hands down. Rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Let's go with Mike. Or Joe this time, sorry. I Joe. had Jazz too. We both had Jazz. Yeah. 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 You're good. One of the best visual gags in TV history. Very much. Ah! It, it is. It's one of the it's one of the best longest running ones. Of, yeah. I, I did enjoy how Family Guy did it too, and he just overimposed <laughs> Peter Griffin on Jazz. Oh, uh, I really wish they wouldn't have. It's, it's one of those that should never have been messed with, but yeah. let's go into your next question. Power Rangers Jungle Fury. Power Rangers Jungle Fury is the Power Rangers blank season. Which season of Power Rangers is Jungle Fury? Joe seems confident. Let's see if it's studying to pay off the five, four, Three, two, one. Pens down. This time it is Mike's turn. I remember how I had this. 20th? Close, but not correct, Joe. 16th. That is correct. It is the 16th season. Joe able to take the one-point lead, but let's see what happens. Our next question from <laughs> Frazier, our pent ultimate question, or however you want to say the question before the last. In Frasier, what is the name of Martin's dog? Cute little guy. My friend had an exact one for several years before he had to get rid of him. But cute little guy. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, Joe. I put Fido. Incorrect. Mike, were you able to get it? Eddie. That is correct. Tying it back up. All right. We're tied going into our last question. And our last question comes in the show, The 100. What is the name of the space station humanity survives on after the end of the world? One of my favorite shows, season seven, coming out October 8th on Netflix. Check it out, folks. We'll go five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Mike. Pandora? Incorrect, Joe. Jeff. No, no. <laughs> um, it was called The Ark. The Ark. Not Jeff. 
That makes perfect sense. Yes. Yes. And I'm crying inside. But we're tied up as we go into round number two. Anybody's ball game still. Round number two, where it's simple, is our wheel round. We bring up a wheel. Our players will have a chance to spin at it. They have two spins. If they don't like the first spin, they can spin again unless the first spin is player or opponent's choice, and they have to stick with that. Uh, each show has four questions worth two points apiece. They can go to multiple choice to make it worth one point. But when you do that, well, each question is stealable in this round anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but with that, let's bring up our primed wheel. Since you guys are tied, Mike, you are in the lead, so you can decide to go first or defer. I'll let you and your manager there speak to decide how you want to go with the strategy. While I show the guys, all our strength shows are on there. Greek, Y 5 o Boy Meets World, Fresh Prince, Jungle Fury, and Frasier. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna defer. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. I guess that either way, if we land on opponent's choice, we're just gonna give each other a strength show anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see how this goes, folks. <laughs> and it lands on players' choice. Uh, I'll take Boy Meets World. At your first question in Boy Meets World. Who are the two lackeys of high school bully Harley? Joey and Frankie. Correct for two points. <clears throat> After four years missing on a show, Minkus is seen once again in high school. When Corey asks where he's been all this time, Minkus points and says, over there, as he points off screen. What former character does he call off screen to? Mr. Turner. Correct for two points. In Heartbreak Corey, why does Corey not ski with the others on the ski trip? He hurt his ankle stepping off the bus. <coughs> two more points. Okay. Your last question. What is Vader's real name in the Thrilla and Phila that Feeney uses to free Eric from Vader's grip? Multiple choice, please. All right. Your options are A, Terry, B, Leslie, C, Robin, or D, Francis? Leslie. Correct for a point. Big round for Joe there. All right, Mike, you are up at the wheel. Boy Meets World is off since we've had those questions. Player's choice is still on there, so... Let's hope it spins it again. Usually with these damn wheels, it usually does. It did spin Frazier, though. All right. You sticking with it? Oh, yeah, I'm sticking with that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. I was sure if you were uh, yeah, considering I what like, you were I doing. Knew was one, I knew it was one of your strengths, but I was like, yeah. is, there, no. oh, is there another strength he's more happy with? No, no, no. no. That's it for me. I was I was thinking you were going with Fresh Prince. That's why you were waiting there. I was figuring, like, nah, he's deciding. But I was like, he's deciding if he wants to spend for Fresh Prince or not. That was my thought, too. Yeah. All right. Mike, are you ready for your Frasier questions? I'm ready. All right. Your first question in Frasier. What city does Fraser move to after his divorce to get a new start in life? Seattle. Correct. Two points, starting off big. All right. Your second question. What is the name of the character's favorite watering hole in the show? Nervosa. Cafe Noversa. That is correct for two points. Your third question. How does Martin's favorite chair meet its demise? It's thrown over a balcony. Two points. Your last question. In the series finale, Frazier follows what love interest to Chicago to pursue their relationship? Multiple choice, please. All right, your options are A, Claire, B, Charlotte, C, Lana, or D, Kate. Claire? Joe, a chance for a one-point steal. 
can I get the multiple choice again real quick? Your multiple choice options are A, Claire, B, Charlotte, C, Lana, or D, Kate. Kate? Also incorrect, it is Charlotte. Uh. Charlotte. You follow Charlotte. Coming out of that, uh, Joe keeps his lead, or keeps or gets in the lead, 10-9, to one-point game, still very close. As we go into round number three, how round number three is going to work, folks, if you've seen everything else before this point, but I will explain it again for anyone new joining in. Round number three, it works like this. The wheel, or the wheel is brought back. The person behind will go first. They spin the wheel. If they don't like the first spin, they can't spin again, but they're stuck with whatever show they land on the second time. Each show has two sets of questions, three questions in each set. The first set is a one, two, and three-point uh, questions. Second set, two, four, and six. If they choose the second set, those questions are stealable by their opponents. So you can either bet big if you need it, go for it if you get something you know, but it can also bite you in the ass. Joe, you are behind. Or no, Mike, you are behind by one point. God damn it, Joe, you did it again. Mike, you are behind by one point. Uh, you will go first at our wheel. You get your two spins. Are you ready? Yep. All right, your first spin is away. And it lands on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I'll take it. Uh, will you do the... First set or second set? Um, you're only down by one point. Yeah, I was going to say, you're only down by one point for either two. one. I'll go first set then. All right, first set, one, two, and three point questions. Your first question for one point. What actor plays the role of Uncle Phil? James Avery. Correct for one point. The two-point question. What is the name of Will's father who left him at a young age? Ben? That is incorrect. It is Lou. Lou. That's, that's right. Also a heartbreaking episode. Heartbreaking episode. Played by Ben Vereen. That's who I saw. Yep. yep. All right. Your three-point question. Name all of the bank's children. Carlton, Nikki, Hillary, Ashley. Correct for three big points. Getting them four points there, bringing him to 13, if I math correctly. I did. I didn't pull Coho or a token. All right. So with that, we go back up to our wheel, forcing Joe to spin and answer some questions. Joe, are you ready? Yep. All right. Your first spin is away. And it lands on Frazier. Spin again. <laughs> Are you sure? You don't want to keep it down? Oh, spin again. All right. You get a free respin. No, I'll bastard. take those questions. I'll take those. I'll take. I'll, I'll, I'll take the one point questions for that. Power Rangers I'll go, jungle. I'll go with the first set. <laughs> All right. Hey, at least we, like, this is a good match because we both got in strength, so it, it's it's pretty much it's who knows more about what they what what they like, which is always fun. All right. Well, you only need four points, so let's see how it goes. You're taking set number one. Your first question for one point. What is the name of the evil villain of the series? Daishi. Correct for one point. What animal spirit is RJ's Jungle Fury spirit? Wolf. Two points. Hit this last one, you win. If not, Mike wins. Your three-point question. What is the name of Lily's master who teaches her the way of the elephant? Master Fant. And your winner. 
Moving on to the number eight spot. And for one hell of a matchup, Joe, but with a haircut. Joe wins this. Big game for these guys. Both of them played with a lot of heart, kept it close. Round one wasn't so great for them, but they made up for it in round two and three. The wheel sticking close to it, making it a great game. But that's enough for this. Let's go hear what they have to say right now. All right, folks, we are back with our winner, Joe, but with a haircut. Joe, you win. You advance on beating your client. How you feeling? I it's bittersweet because, uh, like I said, like I love Mike. He's a great player. It, it just happened that um, came down to I I had a, a one point lead, and the wheel the wheel loved both of us. It just loved me a, a little bit more apparently. Um, uh, yeah, he played very well, going six for eight in round two, and then um, and then two, and then going and then getting two of his three in round three. Correct. That's always um, in TV. If he, the points he put up in, any other day would could have gotten him the win. It, it just it just happened to be that I, I do a little bit more about my strengths than he he just got. I, I think it, it just happened. He got a character and an actor name flipped in his head. Like that. That's yeah. all. That yeah, that happens. Right. It's a lot closer. That that happens. It's a lot closer of a game. Um, it, the final score shouldn't be sixteen to thirteen. It should really be sixteen to fifteen. Um, actor and character flips happen all the time, though. But yeah, he has nothing to hang it hang his head on. Like he played amazing. Like so. yeah, I mean, both of you played great. Uh, how are you feeling with your next match? Because you're going against former TV champion Alec Miller. We've seen his rise to glory and of course his eventual downfall to Jacoby Bancroft. I will deal uh, with him later. But um how you feeling with that match coming up? I, I I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna lie. I am nervous. I, I mean it, it, it's but it's good to be nervous. Um I'm not intimidated. I respect him. Um but now I have personal stakes in this too. He he beat Mike before so it, it's not I'm not just playing for myself. I'm I'm playing to, to get vengeance for Mike. So mm -hmm. and that's nice. And I know that I have Mike in my corner too so I mean, I'll, I'll just like be able to get with Mike and just be like, all right, here are what he's put, putting up against me. Do you have any info on him? So, yeah, Mike and I are going to uh, work together uh, for this tournament coming up, which is always going to be nice to have someone in my corner because he, <laughs> we're both in each other's corner. I think so. Yeah, I'm excited. And I, if any day of the TV teams division comes up, I think Mike and I would be probably be a really good powerhouse team in that division if you decide to make a teams division. Going to our unfortunate loser, Joe, always pushing for that of Teams and TV. Teams and TV! Teams and TV! Get me more fucking writers. All right, we're back with our unfortunate loser today, Mike. Mike, I hear you're looking for new representation. I know a guy. Um, trust me, he'll get you. He'll, he won't do this to you. All I ask is for five percent of your income. <laughs> uh, no, I think I'm good where I'm at. Uh, listen, I I can't say that I'm not disappointed, but uh, there's nobody else I'd rather lose in this tournament to. Uh, Joe is a great competitor. He's a great manager, and uh, I may not be facing Alec, but I'm definitely sending an assassin, and that is Joe. And uh, we're going between the two of us. I think we can we can take some Alec out because I'm still. I'm still uh, I'm still a little bitter about that first win, so I'm definitely or that first loss. So I'm definitely we're definitely gonna be gunning for Alex. So he should probably be on alert, high alert, because Joe's not coming alone. He's coming with me as well. So that's how I roll. Well, yeah, and and that's good. You both both sticking together like a good team. And Joe, shut up. We're not gonna do teams and TV yet. Give me some more fucking writers. Uh, <laughs> He's a persistent little guy, ain't he? Uh, yeah. But you lost here today. You're out of – didn't make the tournament. But uh, we have a – someone I got a hold of a while ago I was talking to, and he wants to come back into TV. Same record, uh, two and three. He is one Cosmic Night Fury, Nico Suave Regoli. So I can get you another match. I can easily set that up. What do you think about facing some former old blood, I guess you could say, with TV? Tim, Tim book the match, man. I'm ready. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 
ready. I'll take on anybody at this <laughs> point. Like, like, like I'm ready. So, cause uh, I know we've been out the game for a little bit. So I'm ready to like, I'm itching and I'm ready to whoever bring, bring whoever it is. I, I don't even remember his name, Nico Suave, but whatever. I'm ready. Well, I could easily make it happen. I know Nico was talking to me about it. of wanting to come back on TV. I can easily set that up. We love having you here, Mike. You always, you always had a great smile. We love putting on TV camera there, buddy. So we will see you in that. But let's go back up to the desk, and I'll close this bitch out. All right. Great match from these guys. Uh, a team unit, I guess you could say, coming into this match. Helping each other. Joe kind of stayed away from Frazier. I kind of hoped he would have taken it, but Joe's a wuss. Uh, anyways, <laughs> this is uh, the last play in match. We have our tournament set up. So, with that, uh, Joe, as you can see, winning this, he will face Alec Miller in round one. Uh, JTH will face Zadius Smith. Caleb Boatman will face Richard Schwartz. And, of course, our two. Uh, young rookies, Michael Turner and Aaron Sellers, will be going at it as well. Tune in next time for the start of the tournament. See you then. Keep your TVs on. Keep playing those shows. Bye-bye.